Hello Terraria Enthusiasts, my name is James, and now I don't usually start videos this way as you know, but I just wanted to say a massive thank you to Stardew Valley for providing me with a free copy to show to you guys one day early. I think that's really awesome. This game doesn't actually come out until tomorrow, so please, if you like the game, go to their Steam page, click that follow button, and go and pick this up tomorrow. If you really like it, please go out and purchase it. So, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope I enjoy the game, which I'm pretty sure I will. So, let's begin. Alright, so it's finally time. I have been seeing screenshots of this game for what feels like forever on Twitter. I'm so excited to play this, so we're just going to jump straight in. Now, this first video that I'm recording today will just be my first impressions as we explore the game. This seems like a very cathartic experience, and it's why I wanted to record first impressions. Rather than getting really good at the game and showing it off, I want you guys to enjoy my first impressions. This looks like it's going to be awesome, so let's click new. Okay, so name. We are going to call our character Chippy. Well, we're probably going to spell Chippy right. That'd be really nice. Farm name. Ooh, what a farm should we call it? Well, let's think. Do I know any farms around here? Well, I did used to live in an area that had a lot of farms. Let's call it... Let's call it Greenland Farm. It's Greenland Farm. Favorite thing? Um, farming seems a little bit weird. We're gonna go with gaming. Oh yeah, we're gonna keep it old school. <laughs> My favorite thing is like apple pie. Like a proper like earthbound thing. Animal preference, dog or cats. I'm kind of becoming more of a dog man recently, so we're going to go with that. Alright, so skin one. Uh, hello, skin four. Okay, here. Alright, let's try and get... <laughs> That's kind of more like me, or it was more like me. I think more... I don't know. Let's keep flicking through these. Ooh, that one looks kind of cool. I like that one. That reminds me of like, some really like farmery looking stuff. Um, I think... Actually, I kind of like that one, just in general. Is that boring, just going for the lazy one? Right, I'm gonna go blue eyes. Oh yeah, I got blue eyes. That's good. All right, okay, I like that shirt. Oh, you can change the shirt. That's cool. <laughs> a little school one. Yeah. All right, I used to do like whenever I used to play games like this. I used to do like school, uh, school shirts, school. Um, oh, you can have beards. Oh, all right, okay. I know I'm, I'm. I know I'm very excited about the littlest of things in this game. <laughs> this this really sets the tone. I'm gonna go for beard, man. I don't have a beard, but I do wish I had a beard, so I guess that counts. Alright, pants colour. I used to go with, like I was saying, I used to go with like a school shirt and then go with some like black trousers. Ooh. Alright, maybe a little bit lighter than that. I think I've a... Uh... There we go. That looks good. Can you change the shoes? Oh. Oh, that's so nice. Look at that. Like everything, look, if we change it, look, everything has like a little uh, side animation. I like it. Right, okay. Skip intro. No. Oh, this looks cool. I like his little sword. And for my very special grandson. Am I supposed to click? Oh, sorry. <laughs> I want you to have this sealed envelope. Oh, maybe I'm not meant to click. Thank you. No, no. Don't open it yet. Have patience. Now, listen close. There will come a day when you feel crushed by the burden of modern life. And your bright spirit will fade before a growing emptiness. I'm kind of feeling that already. I do feel like we're a little bit engulfed in technology. But not too much. When that happens, my boy, you'll be ready for this gift. So it's an envelope and a gift. That's kind of nice. Now, let Grandpa rest. 20 years later. Joja, work. Oh my god, we're, we're working for the- we're working for the man! <laughs> oh wow. Smile, you're with Joja. Do you know what, that kind of looks like the Java logo. Terminated, wow. Oh, I like his hat. Why wasn't that an option? Oh. Chippy man. Seems we're sleeping on the job, buddy. How can you sleep in front of that big CRT monitor? 
Oh my god, we're being watched as well. Oh. Right, okay, that is kind of an old and... Oh. Can we try work first? <laughs> Alright, okay, let's drag this, let's drag this floppy over. Alright, okay, it's time to find out what Grandpa really meant. Dear Chippy, if you're reading this, you must be in dire need of a change. The same thing happened to me long ago. I'd lost sight of what had happened. Oh, sorry, I'm awful at reading some sometimes. I'd lost sight of what mattered most in my life. Real connections with other people and nature. So I dropped everything and moved to the place I truly belong. I've enclosed the deed to that place. My pride and joy. Greenland Farm. It's located in Star... I can't even read. It's located in Stardew Valley on the southern coast. It's the perfect place to start your new life. This was my most precious gift of all, and now it's yours. I hope you'll honour the family name, my boy. Good luck. Love, Grandpa. He's even left his mouse cursor, look. You can tell that him himself was uh, was burdened by technology. He's left it here, he's like, no son, I can't bring it on. So let's begin. Oh, wow. P.S. If Lewis is still alive, Say hi to the old guy for me, will you? I will. I will. Thank you, Grandpa. Man, if it's been 20 years, like... <laughs> it may be a little bit more run down than we'd hoped for. Okay. So, I, is that it? I quit my job and I'm like, I'm leaving for Stardew Valley. <laughs> I'm now the bus driver. Wow, it's beautiful though. The art on this game is really fantastic. Stardew Valley. Half a mile. Yeah, this game's made by a London-based developers. That's good. I'm liking the miles. Okay, I'm liking that bird too. Hello, you must be Chippy. Hey, nice to meet you, Robin. I'm Robin, the local carpenter. Mayor Lewis sent me here to fetch you and show you the way to your new home. He's there right now, tidying things up for your arrival. The farm's right over here, if you'll follow me. I tell you what, we've come to a very friendly place, like... You come back after 20 years and they're fixing up your house? Wow, this brings back some kind of nostalgic memories, I'm not gonna lie. This is Greenland. I didn't, I didn't grow up anything like this, by the way, I should explain. I, uh, I was a big fan of Harvest Moon. I got really into it last year, like completely just like lost a few days in it. I don't know, like I enjoyed the simpler mechanics of the game and I got really hooked. What's the matter? Sure, it's a bit overgrown, but there's some good old soil underneath that mess. With a little dedication, you'll have it all cleaned up in no time. Thank you, Robin. You've been very friendly. Oh, it'd be cool if your beard grew throughout the game. And here we are, your new home. So this must be Lewis, right? Ah, the new farmer! <laughs> Lewis, you're still alive! Welcome, I'm Lewis, Major Mayor of Pelican Town. You know, everyone's been asking about you. It's not every day that someone new moves in. It's quite a big deal. Well, thank you, Lewis. I feel very humble arriving here. So you're moving into your grandfather's old cottage. It's a good house. Very rustic. I think it's in impeccable condition, though, for being left alone for 20 years. Rustic? That's one way to put it. See, Robin knows. Krusty might be a little more apt, though. Rude! Lewis wasn't happy about that one. Don't listen to her, Chippy. She's trying to make you dissatisfied so that you buy one of her house upgrades. Well, she is the carpenter, and I do have a lot of wood. Huh. Anyway... You must be tired from the long journey. You should get some rest. Tomorrow, you ought to explore the town a little bit and introduce yourself. The townspeople would appreciate that. Well, thank you, Lewis. I feel very much um, at home here. Oh, I almost forgot. If you have anything to sell, just place it in this box here. I'll come back during the night to collect it. Well, good luck. I'm already getting very warm feelings of this place. I didn't want to admit this, right? But I'll say it right now. I had, a, I had a Farmville addiction once. And that's really bad, but I really did. 
Right, move W A S D. Shift to run, and uh, that's to check. So it's currently Monday the first. It is ten past six a.m. Oh, can we scroll? Oh, so these you can scroll. So you got your axe, your hoe, your watering can, your pickaxe, and your scythe. Nice. I like. It's very friendly. Ooh. Walks a little bit slow. Oh, yeah, you can run though, right? Oh, that's nice. Gonna have that constantly on. <laughs> I um, I will admit, I have completely like, I don't know, I completely can't stand slow walking games anymore. Like, I can barely play the original Pokemon anymore. Okay, so we started with some parsnip seeds and a new journey entry. You received 50 parsnip seeds. Here's a little something to get you started, Major Lewis. Oh, Mayor Lewis. <laughs> Oh, okay, so if we click this, this is our journal, so it tells us getting started. If you want to become a farmer, you have to start with the basics. Use your hoe to till the soil, and then use a seed packer on the tilled soil to sow a crop. Water every day until the crop is ready to harvest. Okay. Right, so let's start chopping down some stuff. I believe the axe is going to get rid of these, uh... Is, that, is, is it the axe that's going to get rid of this? Used to date. oh, sorry. I, want, I didn't have the axe. Here we go. Oh, that is so satisfying. Alright, so we need to think about where we're going to start planting these, uh, these, uh, these seeds. We've got quite a lot of area, though, so it may just be worth, um, completely knocking everything down just before we even start. Let's have a little look around. I just want to make sure that, uh, I'm building in a prime location. We've got butterflies. They're nice. So we've got a back area over here. Maybe there's going to be some, like, mysterious caves. It's going to be a cave over here. Oh, there is a cave. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, I think that we should build it in true to like in true like harvesty moon tradition. I think we should build it like just next to the house, just like to get it started. So then we don't have to walk as far with the watering can. I think what is there a water well anywhere around here? All right, so that's where you are. Oh, that's such a nice animation, man. So this is where you sell stuff. So there must be a watering area somewhere. All right, let's get the hoe. One, two, three. Right, so we'll do it in patches of nine, so then we know where everything is. Right, shall I, uh, shall I get rid of this stone here? Right, okay, we'll get rid of this stone, and I'll get rid of this stone. And this one. Okay, so I'll do another patch of nine. Oh, oh no, I didn't mean to... All right, okay, I'll just keep it going. So what's that, 12? And then this should make it to 15, right? Okay. All right, awesome, so let's plant some seeds down. Right, now we need to figure out... Oh, no, we actually do have a watering can in our inventory. Okay, that's cool. Right, so let's give these a water, and then what we're going to do is, instead of, like, cleaning up the farm today, we're going to go and check out some of the locals, right? We're going to go see what Mayor Lewis is up to. We're going to go see what the town is like. I'm sure there'll be some people there that we can uh, interact with. Man, I love the animations on this game. It's so satisfying, and the noise... Oomph. The noise is brilliant. All right, okay, looking good. All right, so let's go check that stuff out in the town. All right, that's our energy bar, by the way. If you've never played a game like this, you uh, run out of energy uh, by the end of the day. Let's have a little look at introductions. It would be nice gesture to introduce yourself around the town so people might be anxious to meet the new farmer. All right, so this is like a little bit of a quest here. We have 20, how many people was that? 28? 28 people to meet. So we've met two. We met, uh, we met Mayor Lewis. Uh, we met the other one. Hey, buddy. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Harvey, the local doctor. Oh, someone new. Ah, Mayor Lewis told me you'd just arrived. I'm Marnie. Okay, cool. Oh, so this explains the calendar. So, for example, on Sunday, Lewis's birthday, so we may have an opportunity to, uh, to say hello to Lewis. You know, we could do something nice for Lewis. You know, we can, uh, we can partner up in this game. We could go give Lewis... Something nice for his birthday. Maybe that will show a little bit of keen interest. Maybe we're just being friends. Who knows? Could be a little bit saucy. Vincent. So he's all... Oh, the Egg Festival. That sounds fun. Who else has got a birthday around that time? you got Haley, Shane, Pam, Peary's, Emily's. Okay. Can you scroll down or anything? No. Okay. Let's back out of here. Buy a Jojo Cola for 75G? No. We don't. We boycott the Georgia Corporation after we quit our job. There's a school-shaped keyhole. Journey of the Parati King. Or oh, Parai... I'm so bad at... I 
I'm so bad at reading sometimes. I don't know why. Oh, this is cool. Oh, okay. Oh man, we got a little horde game in the middle. I feel bad for kind of playing this when we're meant to be uh meant to be like farming and stuff. Oh. Hey, that's really cool. I like that. We're gonna exit out of that though, because I feel like we should um kind of get more into into the the main gripe of the game. All right, we should probably meet this bartender. Hello, sir. Nice to meet you. Uh, you sell hash browns? Okay, cool. Omelette bread, trout soup. Yuck. What are we, Gollum? Are eating that fish? Well, hello there. I'm Gus, chef and owner of the Star Drop Saloon. Nice to meet you, Gus. Hope you don't mind, sir, but I'm going to go check out the rest of your house. But I have a feeling that you're not going to stop us. Man, can you loot stuff in this game? You're not good enough friends with Gus to enter his bedroom. <laughs> we should probably go on a date first, Gus. <laughs> Come here, I will give Gus all of my uh, my fibre and wood. And we'll, uh, we'll see what happens. Okay, so it's a brand new day, and uh, essentially what we, I'll tell you what, we don't actually need to water these because it's raining today. So it's a brand new day, so we're going to do our first little quest. We're going to go find Willy. Willy is apparently on the beach. I've met Willy before, but I, um, but essentially I was after 6 o'clock, so we're going to go there now. And uh, go see what Willy has to offer. I did, I spent the second day of my... Um, kind of recording, I guess, like the second day of time in the game. Um, just exploring the city and getting to know it a little bit, I thought I'd be able to commentate just a little bit better if I actually knew where I was going and such. And I think I've got a good feel for everything in the game now. Um, or a good feel for, like, some stuff in the game. And that feels nice. So let's go over here. I know the beach is somewhere over here, so... And I know that uh, Willy is fishing by the beach. Oh, no, is it not? Oh, okay. Right, so when I first seen Willy, it was a little bit different than this. Ahoy there, son! Heard there was a newcomer in town. Good to finally meet you. He looks a lot like me. Ah, I'm still trying to unwind from a month out on the salty seas. It was a big old hole. I sold a lot of good fish. Finally saved enough to buy me a new rod. Here. I want you to have my old fishing rod. It's important to me that the art of fishing stays alive. And hey, maybe you'll buy something from the shop once you're in a while. Maybe buy something from the shop once in a while? I think I read that wrong. You received a bamboo pole. Thank you, Willie, for your old pole. It's much appreciated. There's a good water here in the valley. There's good water. I'm so, yeah, I'm so bad at reading. All kinds of fish. Oh hey, my shop's back open now, so come by if you need any supplies. I'll also buy anything you catch. If it smells, it smells. <laughs> That's my old papa used to say anyway. If it smells, it sells. That's probably what it was going to say. I'm so bad at reading today. Okay, everyone, that is a quick little look at Stardew Valley. I'm going to go and play this in my own time and bring you maybe like a full playthrough very soon. Um, I'd really like to do that. This game is absolutely awesome. Remember, like I said in the intro, you can go and check this out on Steam tomorrow. It will be available to buy. Go buy it. Go support a great company. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this little gameplay because I really enjoy playing it. So thank you all for watching. My name is James, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.